Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Baumon Battlefield. I'm going to be starting a new series that's going to be more of beginner friendly, as that is probably more of the audience for YouTube. Many people who have more experience on the piano are going to be using more sheet music. So I'm going to start doing more beginner friendly tutorials. This one, for example, only has one hand. It's a little bit fast, but shouldn't be super difficult. But if you're brand new to piano, probably don't recommend this video. All right, so to start off, I'm going to just play it real quick. I'll section this off with timestamps if you want to skip this and get right to the tutorial. All right, here we go. gave myself some time to timestamp that. So anyway, the song is pretty fast on the tempo, but again, it's only one hand. So if you want to learn fast songs, maybe start with this one. I don't know. So to get right into the tutorial now, because I feel like I've been talking too long. So start off, it's only one hand, which is a little bit easier to explain. It is C, A, C, D, C, E, F, F sharp, and then G three times. G, G, G. So that's played like this. You go. I'm again going to have captions somewhere on the screen. I would point out where, but I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. So they'll be there. So then after that, you go D. D sharp, E, D sharp, E, then you go G, A, G, C down here. So kind of do this in part where this would be the second part, so it goes. And then the third part is the same pattern, different notes, so you go G, G sharp, G sharp, A, C, D, C, A. So it's the same where you go, but down here. And then onto the fourth part, we have, so it's going to be G sharp right here. And then G, then F sharp, then G, then G up here. So you have to stretch your hand a little bit. Then G, G, F sharp, I can't speak. G again, then this, then one more time. And then continuing that, you go G, a, G, D. And that's the third part. And then on to the fourth part, you go D, D sharp, E, D sharp, E. Then you go G, A, G. Then you hit B flat up here. Then you hit G, G sharp, G sharp, A, C, D, C, A. So like this. So you're 
is going higher. Then you go A flat. This is, you know, make this the fifth part. So the fifth part, you go A flat, then G, F sharp, G, and then you hit G down here. And then you do that three times. So. flat B C like that so for the first five parts I think it is pretty simple I'll flip my piece of paper over and then now it's a little bit more interesting a section so this is going to be four parts in of itself so that'd be put us somewhere around ten so I'm gonna say I did five Six, you go E, F, G, G sharp, then you hit C and A, then A flat or G sharp, then F, B and G, then F sharp, then A and F sharp, then you hit B and G again, then G and E. Then you go back up and you play almost the same thing again. So you go E, F, G, G sharp, then C and A, then G sharp, then B and G, then F sharp, then A and F. But then you play E and G, then C and in E. And then that would be the sixth part. And then the seventh part would be you start off with G and A and you hit it twice. Then you hit G sharp and B. Then you hit G and B twice. And then you hit F sharp and A sharp. Then you hit A and F, then E and G, then you hit G and E. Then you do the same ending as the other one, so you'd go E and A, then G sharp and B, then you'd hit G and V, then F sharp and A sharp, then A and F, then G and E, then E and C. Then you hit E and C three times, so you go one, two, three. Then you hit C, E, and then B flat. Like that. Twice. And then you hit A, C and E flat twice. Then you go back up to C, then E, then A sharp, or B flat, one or the other. Like that. And then you go C and A four times, and then G sharp, and then G. And then you start again, and you do that one more time. Messed up a little bit there in a setting D, but that's fine. Ignore that. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. It was kind of a subpar tutorial. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to get content out because the YouTube algorithm likes that when I have a lot of content going out doesn't really care about the quality as much. So if you can give me video recommendations, I will have timestamps in the bottom for the parts, subtitles somewhere. Don't need to say the subtitles part that's going to be in the video. Uh, see you in the next video. Have a good day.